Hello and welcome. This is Ghost Dimension Flying Solo. Coming up on Ghost Dimension. Is that you then? Is that you whistling? Oh, I just got a right tingle all down my face. Keep thinking I'm seeing a shadow. I'm drawn to this door. This door's freaking me out. I'm doing a full on paranormal investigation here tonight. Tonight on Ghost Dimension Flying Solo, we have headed to Leeds to investigate the historic Morley Market. Paul, we're off to Morley Market, believed to be haunted. Some of the staff have reported haunted things happening here. The customers have witnessed apparitions of shadow figures, you know, standard stuff as well that you get with arms with the knocks and the bangs and the voices and stuff. Um, what are you expecting from this uh, location tonight? Well, it's an unusual one, isn't it? It's a market um, yeah. place where every day it's going to be busy with uh, customers. Um, nearly 140 years old. 140. So, yeah, so it's got some history behind it, and uh, it's it's a nice little town from what I believe. Yeah, there's plenty of history behind it, so I'm I'm looking forward to it just just because it's going to be something different, yeah. and importantly. It's indoors. It's indoors, which means we'll stay dry because yes, it's raining yeah, outside. I've been chucking it down, isn't it? We'll just turn the camera and give you a little bit. We're just turning now. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, it should be a good one, Paul. Built in 1880, the market plays an important part in a local community and has done since it opened its doors nearly 140 years ago. But the market seems to have more than just its storeholders and regular customers roaming the aisles. Outside these very offices, the staff have reported a feeling of unease and of being watched. Whilst here, outside this very cafe, a black shadow figure has been seen and perhaps even caught on camera and the sound of ghostly chains have also been heard. Let's join tonight's psychic medium Kimber and let's see what she senses could be haunting here. Kimber, welcome to Ghost Dimension Flying Solo. This is Morley Market and we're investigating tonight and we've invited you in to see if you can sense anything psychically and spiritually. Um, have you ever investigated or been into this location before? No, I haven't, no. So this is your first time you've ever been here? Mm, yeah. So when you've come straight into this building, have you uh, picked up on anything? Have you sensed anything straight away? Um, not straight away. It's more as I've been going through it a bit more. I did enter um, through the newer side. It was more when I came around the old side that I could pick up on a lot more energy. So the older side, you sense more energy? Well, more of the older spirits rather than the newer spirits. All oh, right, okay. So when you say the newer spirits and the older spirits, what type of spirits are you referencing? Um, so like the older, I'm going back, what, maybe 20, 30 years ago, 40, maybe onwards, maybe connected to the grounds as well as um, the market itself. But when I say newer spirits, it's more people who've worked in here in like 20 years. Oh, wow. So there's two sets of spirits that yeah. you can pick up. So there's ones that have been here before this was a market. Yeah. And then, as this is a market, spirits that have probably passed that were connected here, yeah. maybe worked All the way through visited. from the beginning to the end. Wow. Oh, now, rather. And so, to, and have they, so you've not sent them here in this part, but you sent them in other parts of the building? It's um, more where the butcher side is and going out near the entrance that way. Do you want to go over there now? Shall yeah, we check that out? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Kimber, this is the butcher's section. So this is where you feel some of the energy is, is residing or is, is emanating from? Yeah, um, I still get, I can hear all the noises that would have been going on, you know, even what you have these days, I can still hear what spirits would be doing because it, I don't feel as though they're just residual, they are still living their day to day in, as a market, but it's a lot of shouting backwards and forwards over around this bit. So what type of shouting are you hearing? Um, are you? <laughs> Ten pounds for a pork chop or whatever, you know, things like that. So you're like hearing that. the market traders yeah, shouting. Really noisy people talking, walking backwards and forwards, all the competition, you can still hear it. So this energy you're sensing here is, is the energy, is maybe called a residual energy? Um, normally I would call it a residual energy because it is like memories playing over and over again. 
but it's not, it is literally the spirits that would have been here when they were alive doing the day to day, but it's still happening. It's still though. happening. So they're still here, think they're still doing their day to day? Yeah. Wow, okay. What type of activity could we expect if we investigated this part? Probably a lot of noises, um, maybe some bangs and whatnot. I don't feel as though you'll get things moving or um, yeah. bolt being thrown. It okay, is more shoes noisy. flying off the side. No, yeah. probably yeah. not. I don't get why the shoes next to me, but yeah. that's another issue. So a lot of noises here, a lot of taps and bangs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, are you sensing anything else here? Is anything Well, I do feel or? as though this is quite um, a big energy portal here where they're coming backwards and forwards through it. That's why I feel as though this area is the loudest. OK. Um, when, as soon as I stood here, my heart started pounding. I was going quite dizzy. Um, and usually when it is um, quite a hit of energy, it's because it's a portal. Wow. And this portal, then, um, does this allow other spirits to come through? Um, yeah, it can bring let anyone else through. So anybody could just come through the portal? Yeah. Excellent. And um, is anywhere else in this building one of the most active areas that you feel drawn to? Um, I did walk up um, the part behind us, um, but I haven't explored the rest of it yet. Okay, shall we, shall, shall we go over them? And have yeah, a, we can have a do. Look? Yeah? yeah? Excellent, let's do it. So you're sensing something down here? Um, yeah, there's lots of females um, around um, the market actually. When I was just talking to my mum saying, you know, you'd expect a lot of men in a market because it is what you expect. Yeah, with men shouting away, you know. Yeah, um, but there's a lot more female spirits around, um, what I would call newer spirits. Um, I do keep picking up a lady that would have had um, cancer, a lot to do with the throat, that's why my throat keeps going. She's sticking with me, apparently. Um, there is another lady I keep picking up on that would have had a lot of problems um, with the brain, more physical than um, like in and out and whatnot, because um, I keep getting brain tumour coming through. Okay. So that, that, I do get that sort of sudden passing, but they would have been here in the past, so it's almost like they're just staying here. Yeah. It's just... Are you sensing anything that maybe, um, there's reports of something maybe sinister here? Are you picking anything to light that up or...? Um, I haven't picked up on them yet, they've been pretty smart. Because oh, I, yeah. I usually pick up on things like that very quickly. I like to know straight away. If there's something negative yeah. here, you want to find it straight away? Yeah, hide and yeah. seek. Okay, super. So we're just about to head over and do the investigation and Kimber sent somebody was watching us from the back. Yeah. Um, and you think that is this shadow figure it could be? That. Um, I do feel as though there has been um, a male following us all the way. Um, yeah. It's only as I've just come to this area now that I've felt the energy. Um, I do believe it is what we would call the, um, the shadow figure. The shadow figure, yeah. yeah. Um, I do get quite a negative feeling from them. I get the feeling that they do want to frighten. So it could be a bit of a teaser? Yeah. Okay. And he's, he's came and followed us through. So this is, this is like a playful spirit, maybe, that wants to scare us then? I wouldn't call it playful. I'd want, I would want to say it wants to frighten us. Right, okay. Well, hopefully it doesn't frighten me on my vision. Maybe it goes for yours. <laughs> go for the weakest. Yeah, potentially, eh? Brilliant. Well, let's, let's go and investigate then. Let's do Lovely. it. Yeah? Come on. It was now time to start our investigation. Kimber started in the butcher's area, Paul went off even deeper into the back areas, and I started by the cafe to see if any spirits would come and join us on our solo vigils. Okay guys, I'm in Morley Market doing my investigation. I've got the static detector here, which keeps flashing um, just as I was getting ready to film. Um, I don't know if you can see that, it's flashing green, and I'm by the cafe. Um, where shadow figures are believed to have been seen. It's flashing again, it's flashing intermittently. On the floor I've got a REM pod, so that's a static detector and uh, anything that comes near that um, emits any frequency will get picked up. It's still a bit light in here because the, the roof's quite light. It's uh, oh, okay, that was weird. This is still going mad. Um, I wanted to take you down there and show you the rest of the uh, REM pods that I've got, but this is picking up on an energy which is by appears to be by this cafe. So what I'll do, I'll just go into the cafe. That was me standing near the REM pod. Um, if you're an energy that's been witnessed here, maybe as a shadow, can you light my, uh, well, come towards my device. If this device goes green, then that's a positive energy. If it goes red, it's negative. It might be hard to pick up on this camera, but I'll show you, I'll tell you if it goes red, okay? But if it's green, you should be able to see quite, quite simply and quite easily. So we'll go down here. 
because that's not flashing anymore. Hello, we're going down the old part of the uh, market now. Um, we're not getting a very nice feeling either of us, are we? No, it's a little bit dark. Oh, <laughs> it's a little bit heavy. Oh, I know it's taking my breath away. It's making my heart pound here. This is where it is, isn't it? Let's wait here. Oh. Are you going dizzy here? I feel yeah, like my legs are shaking. Bit further over. I know, but I swear I just saw something down there. Did you not see that flash? No. Well, we're just going to have to do it that way. Is anybody there? <laughs> right, you see her. It's right here. I'll just show you what we've got around us. It's not too dark. It's dark enough. It's just here. This is uh, Morley Market in Leeds, um, this is my first solo vigil, I am uh, near the kiddies car, near the kiddies car just there, I've put a REM pod, uh, a REM DD on the floor, and I've got a Mel meter with the REM device built in, and just in this area there have been some uh, loud noises heard, loud bangs and crashes etc. And uh, I'm just going to see who it is. The medium that's with us tonight, Kimber, has said that everybody that's here, spirit-wise, um, they're just people that used to be here, that used to work here, just market traders and what have you. We've got some more REM pods. We've got a REM pod here. And we've got a REM pod down here. So if anything, so if, if anything does come near me or in this area, we should be able to detect it. And one of these REMs might go off, or one of the the, the device in my hand might go off. But I'm, I'm intrigued because I was near the cafe, and as I was by the cafe, this static detector was going off. So I want to come back here and see if I can get it to react again because it was working. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. If that's you, this intelligent spirit, I believe you are. Whoa, okay. If you're a spirit, can you come close to me and stay here and light this up and keep it lit up? Please keep it lit up. Show me how strong you are. And by the cafe where people have witnessed you, Can you do something for me? Hello? I, 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 I don't know what the hell happened then. I heard a, uh, a noise of a voice and some sort of weird flash like thunder and then this, this flash man, it's freaky. Okay, where is it you want me to be? Here? Let me just try and identify if there's anything to do with this. No. It's flashing all here, green and red. Green and red, so maybe we've got both potentially a negative spirit, oh, and again, and a positive spirit here. Oh, and here's pure green. Thank you. And it went red as well. Can you do something for me if you're here? Can you make a noise as well as lighting this? This is fantastic. Thank you. Can you keep it lit? Is that possible? Whoa! That is amazing. Can you do it again for me? Was that you then? Was that you whistling? Oh. Oh. Alright, we've been drawn into a little area. Oh, turns out it's a toilet. Again, not as interesting as we'd hoped. <laughs> It feels weird in here, doesn't it? I feel like I can't breathe in here, I just 
too far. Okay, Jose. Is there someone that's just followed us in here or drawn us into this section? If you can make a noise, can you copy this, please? And try really, really hard and make a noise like this. Come on, we know you're here. Oh, I just got a right tingle all down my face. Yeah. Yeah, it went like, it was like that. How oh, nice. <laughs> that was a bit rude, whoever did that. So perhaps if I look like I'm just shopping about and call out and ask for some, some spuds, ask for some meat, ask for something that you might get if you were here in the market shopping. And uh, we've got emergency lighting up there, we can't do anything about that. So we'll just see if anything happens. If there's anybody here, I'm here to buy some, some groceries. Can I have uh, half a pound of spuds? Could somebody serve me? Like some sweets? If there's anybody here, if you can go towards that little black box that's on the floor. One that's got the silver stick coming out of it. If you just touch that metal stick, it will make a noise and light up. It will just let me know that you're here. And you're ready to serve me because I'm here as a customer. Could you please come and let me know that you're here? The uh, mal meter at the moment isn't registering anything. Temperature is at 17.2. There's no EMF. And all's well. I'm just going to swap my hand over. Can you come and light my little um, machine up? It's got colourful lights if you come near it. That was amazing that you just did that. Thank you. And again. Are you just... Oh, that's fantastic. Can you flash it? Bright green and stay green. It's amazing the feeling that you get in here once everybody's gone. I mean, this was a bustling place. This was the market of Morley and still is to this very day. And the amount of people that have been through here over the years is, is immense. And Okay, I heard that then. I heard that. That was down here. Let me take you down here. Oh, and this this is this is flashing off as we're going down here, as you can see. It's fantastic. This door, I heard a door down here. I'm going to show you, look. I'm going to show you. I'm going to keep this here because it's flashing. I think a door. Was this open? No. Look at this. It's staying on. And it's gone to red. It's stopped. What the hell was that? I'm going to show you. Uh, There's another door. I, I heard a door. I heard a door. I came down. Both the doors are locked. I held this to the door. And the door little green through this machine. Let me do it again. Can you light this um, machine come near me? Let's see you do that again. Are you inside there? Are you, are you, what is this? This is a shop for like, ear piercings, inspirations. Was that you that did that? Did you come near this door? 
I think that that was his spirit that emitted the sound of the door. Maybe I'm wrong here, but I think that emitted the sound of the door opening so I could hear it and make me come over here. Are you trying to get me on my own? Who are you? Can you do something for me? Push the ladder? Knock on a door? Tap? It's behind us. Someone stood here. Feel that there? It's really cold. <laughs> you feel it? There's a right draft, isn't there? Yeah, but there's nowhere for a draft to be coming from. Is there? It's not, it's not here, it's warm here and then it's cold here. I'll point camera that way then and see. Oh, did you not see that way in front then? Down here? Oh. I just saw um, like a little mist spiral then. As in, you can see it on camera or only you could see it? Um, I suppose we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. It's hard to tell sometimes. It's coming round here. Do you know I keep getting loads of children here? Do you? Yeah, you know, I keep getting um, the images of like, you know, children just like throwing rocks and stuff, like being little buggers. You know, like, uh, what are they called? Put it on down here. <coughs> yeah. It's and down this side. It's really yeah. cold. Oh, God. How cold have you got? Like, I'm not cold. Wow. Yeah, it's all over your shoulders. Someone likes you, don't they? So it's this man that followed us down the corridor. It seems to be liking you more than it does anyone else. I've also brought the ovulus with me, so in a few minutes I'm going to fire that up and see if uh, anybody's here that wants to talk to me through that. It'd be really good if some relevant words came out through that considering we're here in Morley Market. Are there any traders? Any stall holders? Anybody that had a stall here in Morley Market? Are you still here now? Are you still going about your daily business? Could you let me know? Could you make a noise? There are quite a few noises because right now I'm just stood right in front of the butchers and there's a big fridge there which is making a noise and I can hear water running down the, uh, the drain pipes because outside it's absolutely lashing down. So there's a few noises that I can take as being natural. So we're looking for things that aren't. Is there anybody here at all? Could you please come and let me know? And that's the fridge kicking in, that's played havoc with us tonight. I'm just gonna get uh, just gonna get the ovulus out now. So we brought the ovulus. All faithful. Let's see if uh, that talks to me. <laughs> Is there anybody here in the market now? If you can use this device to talk to me. And there's words in this. See. See. Can you see me? Can you see me? Can you come and touch me? Can you come and let me know that you're here? Pine. It says pine. I'm not sure if you can see it with it being uh, on infrared at the moment, but that said pine. Is there somebody here that uh, sold pine? Pat. Now, is it a name or is it an action? Is there somebody here by the name of Pat? 
Is that your name? Hello? Did you hear that man? That was freaky. Hello? As I was asking out for something to happen, it happened. I heard like a bang of some sort of thought. I don't know what it was. Hello? He's gone completely silent as if these weird noises are happening. Let's go back to this door. I'm drawn to this door. This door's freaking me out. I think he's trying to get me away from the cafe. Let's go back to the cafe. That was a rem for the back. So the rem at the back now went off, it went beep, which I can only suggest that it went off because it was trying to get me back over there to go away from the cafe, just like I heard the door opening. I think that the rem pod is another distraction. This is amazing. Okay, we're back at the cafe. Oh, and look. As soon as I came back to the cafe, I'm going to hold this up. This started flashing. I just missed it, I think, just off camera, but it started to flash. I'm going to go back to where it flashed here. Can you make it flash again for me? Can you come and use any of my energy? Just come towards me and let's communicate with each other. Let's touch me. Kimber says you can touch people. Touch me. Are you able to do that? Oh, that was weird. That was like an animal. Like a... There's no animals in here. Can you tap on this blue top hole in behind me? I saw that go again. Can you push it? And down there, down there. There was a light. I'm going to... Whoa, thank you, thank you. That was you, that was amazing, thank you so much. I can hear another door. Let me go up here, let me see what I can find. This place is amazing. Listen. Hello? I can hear you. Very faint noises. Um, it feels as though, um, even though we've been followed, it just stops here. It's like I'm not safe there. But I'm safe here. Let's go back this way. I don't feel as though it would bring harm. I just feel like it does want to give us a bit of a fright. Fright, yeah. It'd be great if we could hear market noises. Mm. I feel like it, it would have to be like nobody in here. To hear the market, yeah. for the market noises. Yeah, you know, like there was no one here living in in the market for them all to really let go because I don't feel as though they want to, well, a lot of them anyway, don't want to cause any trouble. So what goes on after dark when it's all shut up? Yeah, a bit like Toy Story. Yeah. <laughs> Keep thinking I'm seeing a shadow at the top. We've got the emergency lights up there. And I actually thought I just saw a shadow just over on the right. So if you can see where that um, that stand is outside these glass, I'll just come up to it just here. And I thought I saw a, a shadow just here, in just a corner of the eye. 
one of the eye job. Anybody here at all? Pat. Is there somebody here called Pat? Did you have a stall here? Fifteen. Okay. Right, Pat, if this is you, fifteen. Beat. Beat. Can you say market? Can you bring up the word market on this device and then I know that I'm intelligently talking to paranormal. So I'm asking for some some sort of proof that I'm talking to somebody intelligent and it comes up with the word paranormal. And loving. That's nice. Are you loving the paranormal? Are you loving being on the other side? But you're still here, you're still in the market. See somewhere that you had your business. Is that what you're trying to tell me, Pat? Observe. Observe. Okay, so we've had to see and observe. Are you observing me? Can you give me something really relevant? Can you say market? Can you use the word market that's in this box that I'm holding now? If you can use the word market and get it to come up on here. Eat. Well, there's a cafe here. Did you have a cafe yourself? You have 15 stalls here. Were you here when there was only 15 stalls? Is that your age? You see there's so many possibilities. Ooh. That was a new noise. That was a new noise. I'm just going to go a little bit further up here. Got some of these areas that uh, are lit up because uh, I've got some emergency lighting on in some. And the lights won't go off. And we've got a light there. And I just heard a noise. And it's a noise that since we've been here, I've not heard that one. That's a new one. Hello? Listen? Why is that? It's not like... I don't like people. Let me just go down here. Oh, no way! Just literally come down here. Listen to this. Look, that you would have heard that then. You would have heard that. I'm sure you would have. I mean, that can go off on its own. Of course it can. But it just went off. This child's toy, as I came up here, went off, and now this is going wacky. Maybe it's this, and let's prove if it is or not. But I'm not too sure. It's given off a, an energy, but it's not constant. That's weird, and it's going off again, in mid-air now. If that's you, that's communicated with me, set off this child's toy again. This is a, like a ride for kids. Set this postman pat off again. In five, four, three, two, one. And I've got both red and green on here constant now, and I'm in mid-air. The postman pat ride had set off on its own. Paul had received the exact same word, Pat, through the ovulus before, and Kimber was sensing children. Are these encounters all connected? What's going on? I'm green, full green. This is freaky. 
I think it's, it's all to get me away. If you don't want me here, you're going to have to do something. Look, no way. See, it's a distraction. It went off again. You must have got that and that went off again. If you don't want me here, you're going to have to do something bigger than setting postman Pat off. There's no way I'm leaving. I'm doing a full on paranormal investigation here tonight. We've got multiple tools that we're going to use. We've got the SLS cameras and all sorts. And we are going to capture you. If you're haunting here, we'll capture you. I'm coming back to this cafe because that's where you seem to be drawing me away from. Okay, I'm back to the cafe. I want you to show yourself on this camera. Let's put this device over here. Right, and let's, let's see you light it now. Light this static detector. Go on. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Can you do it one more time for me? That was really, really good. One more time. If you can make it go red, please light it, make it go red. Can you make it go green again? Am I walking into your atmosphere? That's me setting a ram, I'm too close to it. It's right next to me. Can you make it go green? Can you knock on this tarpaulin? That was fantastic, that. As soon as, I mean, I asked for it to go off and it went off. You can't ask for activity like that and receive it in such a quick amount of time without that being paranormal. I thought I heard a, a voice said. Hello? Did you see something flash down the bottom there? What is that? Okay, so I just moved uh, the rem a little bit further up there. And I picked the, uh, the mel meter up, which has also got a rem device built into it. So we'll just see if anything happens here. We're at 0 0.2 at the moment, 0 0.1 and 0 now for uh, milligauss. So there's nothing here that's got a field around it, an electromagnetic field. And we've just jumped to 0 0.3, 0 0.4. But it could be this fridge. So if we walk towards the fridge a little bit, 0 0.5. Uh, it's not particularly high, but it is the fridge. No, oh, we've dropped to zero. Okay, so the fridge isn't giving anything off. So, something registered a moment ago, or there's a reason that the uh, milligauss went up to 0 0.5, but I don't know what that was. We're now at 0, 0.0. Not a lot going on. So, I think we're going to wrap this one and we'll move on to somewhere else. I'll see you in a bit. Is that a reflection of the door? Let's go find out. Definitely glass. It's a reflection, it's glass down there. And as I'm talking to you, I keep missing the red as I was talking to you. The red went off on this. Can you communicate with me again by using maybe your voice? I just want to hear you. I don't want to do anything difficult or hard. 
Can you show yourself on my camera? That was the light at the bottom going off. It's the light down here. It went off. That was just natural. It wasn't anything paranormal. This, you know, I'm going to stay where the activity is. The activity is by this cafe. Which is weird because that's where the shadow figures have been witnessed before. Which is amazing for that to be happening in this, you know, this place. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah. And there's some back to the cafe. Bang! You look. Did you see that? Again, confirmation of spiritual activity in Morley Market. I'm going to place it on the side again. Can you come foot towards that device again for me one more time? What the frick? Let's just go down here. There was up. Bang then. Down here. It was like a tap on. It was... No, it wasn't that. And tap tap back down there. No way. Okay, I'm back. Can you light this machine? Come towards it and light it. Just one more time for me. Oh, thank you. If that was you that was tapping. I thought it was you that was tapping. It was amazing, thank you. But I'd love it if you could just do it maybe one more time so we can hear you again. Make that big noise again for me if you can. Hello? That was amazing. No way, down there. Down there again. Thank you. Can you tap on one of these glass windows as well? This is amazing. I can't wait to investigate more. This is flashing as I'm speaking as well. Thank you so, so much. I'm going to move on and uh, investigate more. Because so far, this has been... One fantastic investigation, and I can't wait to see what everybody else has picked up. I know I said not to antagonise, but this one's been peeping up my dress, so I can bug it off. Do you know what? I'd offer to flash if it meant that it'd knock or bang or somewhere. <laughs> this is not my mother. <laughs> I'm open to offers. Bribery. Oh. When you say you can't take your parents anywhere. <laughs> Certainly not on a ghost investigation. <laughs> Come on, try and make a noise. We know that you're following oh. us. Feels weird, yeah, doesn't it? Anybody there? Come on, we're being really silly. We're giving you lots of energy. Yeah, I was taking all mine. And try and make a noise like this. Oh, what right down there again? It's like it's following us, but wherever we stand, where it wants to be, or rather, he, he moves through my head pounds when I go here. Are they? Oh, all right, it's nearly falling. She's had a proper long flat shoes as well. Paul, I can't believe what I just experienced down there. Um, the validation of the static detector mm -hmm. at the cafe. Right. It was amazing. It was going off, and every time I was trying to investigate by the cafe, it was pulling me 
from one end to the other end and I've never experienced paranormal activity mm. trying to distract me away from where I was investigating and then following that I also heard a big bang and also what sounded to be like people speaking it was really really weird right. how did your investigation go? Uh, yeah, it wasn't as exciting as yours, but uh, I was stood up there, and if you stand there for any length of time, you get used to what the, the noises are that are up there. And at one point, there was something that was different. So um, some paranormal. I don't say? know. I don't know because I mean we, we've only been here for a, a short time investigating, and like I say, you stand up there, you get used to the fridges coming on and, and fans, and with the rain and the drain pipes and all the rest of it. Um, but there was a different noise. And it was just—it just happened the once. Yeah. Um, I was calling out. I was actually acting like a customer. Right. So I'm asking for for potatoes and what have you. So I'm hoping a stall holder might have come and served me. Um, and then there was just this one odd noise. I can't even describe it um, because it, it just didn't fit with anything else. It, it was a, a metallic sort of clang. Um, so I've just described it to you. Uh, the ovulus was out. Um, random stuff. I had a name Pat come up, and then my name came up. Paul. Well, that's weird because I was over by. This is really weird. I by. I crossed over into uh, Postman Pat in the back and it was going off and then he right. was trying to distract me and I didn't know if it was going off because it was on the timer to go off mm. but then I said I'm going back over there and Postman Pat went off oh okay well that's different yeah. um, well the obelisk came up with see and observe um, a few other different words it, it, it seemed random to me but now you're telling me about Postman Pat you know I thought maybe it was Pat and uh, somebody here that had a stall was called Pat Shall we go off and investigate with the SLS camera? Yeah, I think we should and uh, do the whole place. Just do a sweep of the whole place with the SLS. Let's do it. Let's yeah. go and do it and let's move on the investigation yeah. and then investigate further. Okay, come on.